Hello guys, Andrew, welcome back. So let's begin the setup for creating our uh, jelly material. The first thing I like to do is to organize our scene a bit because I want the materials to be on their separate folder. So if I go to the custom folder, I'm just going to right click and go to create. And we'll, we'll just call this materials. So we're going to be placing our materials in this uh, folder. Oops, sorry about that guys. I actually went ahead and created a material. I was supposed to create a, a folder. So let's go ahead and create that folder. And let's call that folder materials. So that's great. So now that we have that materials folder, if we get back to our graphs, we could just click on our material and then place our material within the uh, material folder. So it's nice to separate our materials from our graphs just to keep everything uh, neat and organized and not confused. Remember, if you drag the slider, you could have everything as a single list in case you actually prefer this kind of output. So the first thing we're going to do is to create a material for our shader. And we'll just call that uh, Jelly Matte. And let's just go ahead and create a material. And we'll just call that Jelly. Oops call that uh, jelly underscore mat just to show that it's a material and I'll just simply drag it into the materials folder so now that we're in the materials folder let me just go ahead and pull this I can select that material and then change the uh, pipeline but we don't have a graph for it yet so let's go ahead and create our graph so if we go back to our graphs folder we'll just right click on the project window go to create and go to shader and then we'll create a PBR graph and we'll just call this jelly graph just like that so now we have our jelly graph and now we have our materials so let's we'll get back to our materials and under shader graphs we'll just do our jelly underscore graphs just like that so our jelly material is now selected and using the jelly graph. All right, so shader, jelly graphs, and go back to our graph. We have our jelly graph. So let's go ahead and open our shader editor. So the first thing we're also going to do is to create a uh, 3D object, the scene. So let's go to game object, and let's go to 3D object, and let's just create a cube. So now that we have that cube, let's drag that cube into our props folder. So it'll be a child of our props. And if we go back to the scene, we can see our cube in the scene. For vertex displacements, it's kind of better when you use a spare. I'll just go ahead and delete that and go to game object. I'll select the props and go to game object and 3D object. And I'll just create a spare and drag that to my props. I believe a spare is much more uh, better for this. So now that we have that spare, let's go ahead and set the jelly. Uh, let's call it jelly. Underscore. Spare. And let's drag our spare material, our jelly material. So let's click the jelly material and go to jelly spare and then place that. So our jelly material is now using the uh, jelly shader graph. So we can now go to our jitter graph and begin our setup. So let's go ahead and maximize our screen using shift and space bar just to maximize our screen. Our material is going to be translucent. So on the surface, let's change for opaque and set opaque to translucent. So that wraps up our basic um, setup. So that's how we can set up our scene, create our materials, create our 3D object. In our next lesson, we're going to go ahead and start building our shader.